more police brutality in Buffalo, New York. Take a look at this bull jive. And I have a special place for old folks. A graphic video of police shoving a 75-year-old man to the ground in Buffalo, New York Thursday quickly went viral and drew wide condemnation on social media. It shows the majority of the officers there march past after the man falls. The man is then seen bleeding from his ears. Two officers have been suspended without pay within hours of the video being posted by a reporter from local public radio station WBFO. The station reported that later two medics came forward and helped the man into an ambulance. Police initially issued a statement saying the man was injured after tripping and falling. The events transpired as protesters returned to the streets of several U.S. cities for the 10th night of protests over the police killing of George Floyd. In a statement, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown said he was disturbed and disheartened by the video, quote, after days of peaceful protests. Brown says the city's police commissioner has ordered an investigation and that the 75-year-old man was in stable but serious condition. What the f Bruh. Let me tell you why this one bothers me. I was basically raised by my grandmother. I have a sweet spot for old folks because I know people try to take advantage of them. And a lot of the older people were the ones who genuinely laid down their lives so that me and Larry can be doing what we're doing. I know my grandma did. And I sit here and look at this bull jive. I hear that they went and lied to all my good cops out there. Y'all can There are get, none. There are some. Y'all cannot get enough good coverage because of these airheads like this, these ass clowns like this. Not only did they lie and say his ass tripped, but when they pushed him down and blood started trickling out of his ear, one cop went to act as though he's gonna help him and the other cop picked his ass up and pushed him forward. I, I, Larry, I'm going to give it to you real quick. Now, since this has happened, ladies and gentlemen, three of those cops have been fired. But let take another look at something else that's transitioning from this. Now you're getting cops, back, getting cops having backlash saying that they do not understand why people are being fired over this incident that happened in Buffalo, New York. So you know what the cops are doing? They are resigning. And you know what I got to say to the cops that feel the need to resign? Good fucking written. Peace. Yeah, but, here, but here's the thing. They're not resigning from the force. They're not resigning from their jobs. They're resigning from that, from that quick response force. That's what it is. They have, they have a group of officers that are part of this team that go out as a quick response for when there are protests and civil unrest. And so they have in, in protest of these officers and they aren't fired. They're suspended without pay. So they're probably going to come back. And if they are able to keep their job, what's going to happen is, is that they're going to end up getting all of their back pay. So this whole thing of suspending someone out with pay without pay is just bullshit because all they're going to do is they'll keep up, they'll suspend them without pay. And they'll probably have some hearing within two weeks because they probably have some union stipulation that's in their contract that says if they're suspended without pay, they have to receive a hearing within a period of time. So that without pay is probably within the two week time frame of their regular pay period anyway. And they'll they'll end up keeping their job and they'll just end up with their regular pay. I mean, it's, it, it, it is political bullshit to say that. And the fact that these guys, these 57 officers resigned from this, from this, from this task force or, or a quick response team, whatever it is. I wish, I wish Mayor Byron Brown would just simply say, you know what? You don't need to worry about just resigning from this team. You have resigned, period. period. I, I wish he would get rid of all 57 of those officers. Let's Let think go. about this. Let's just think about this, people, for real. What they are saying is when they resign is if we cannot, if we cannot brutalize, if we cannot literally brutalize 75 year old men with impunity, we don't want to carry the badge and protect and serve. That's what they're saying. They're saying they only want to do their job if they can brutalize people with impunity. 
that's what they're those people should not people like that should not be on the force they should not be allowed to have a badge they should not be able to carry a gun hell if it was up to me they wouldn't even have their american citizenship i agree and not only are they saying everything larry's saying but they're also saying we want the right to lie in their report they said he tripped and i'm sitting here looking at my wife like what the how what if anybody come out their mouth sideways and say yeah he did trip you make me want to say a bad word they pushed the man the man would not have had any tanglement had he not been pushed and they are basically telling you now i wonder if this resonates more now that we're seeing white people getting pushed too it started with just blacks now we're seeing whites at least they still got their life but now we're seeing it trickle down to other race groups and they're lying about it. They pushed him, let him bleed, and did not even go over there to attend to him because that wasn't important. A and geriatric 75 year old that was not any sort of physical threat to these people whatsoever. Zero. Whatsoever. They Zero. pushed him down and then they did not even render aid to him. That's what happened. I mean, let's just be real. These people should not be on the force. When mm -hmm. black people have been talking about for decades, decades, for decades about Centuries. police brutality and white people keep always asking, well, what did they do? What did this person do? They didn't do shit. Nothing. That's what you're seeing now. When you see these cops running around shooting people in the eyes with rubber bullets, when they're fucking brutalizing news crews from Australia, when they're beating old men, pushing old men down in the streets of Buffalo and then not even rendering aid, that's what black people have been dealing with in this country since its fucking exception. I mean, it's, 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 this is why, this is why I say that, that, that I'm done with fucking peace. There is no peace. You cannot deal with these peaceful these people peacefully. It is not fucking possible. These this this the whole law enforcement structure needs to be torn down and remade from the from the ground up. They need to fire every single officer in this country and rehire everyone. It is not possible because if you are not one of the people pushing those motherfuckers down, then you are the one standing next to them allowing it to happen. So there are no good officers. There so are none. We saw in this video some officer that wanted to get down there and help. And I'm just going to assume it was his superior that told him, nah, keep it moving, even though that man ear is bleeding. No, but no, I'm not giving that as an excuse. There are times when you have to make hard decisions. We've all made hard decisions in our lives. I've made decisions in my life that I knew were the right thing and they were going to have very harsh consequences and I made that decision anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't give a flying fuck if that guy, his superiors punished him and tried to do whatever else to him. I can tell you right now, there is not a court in this fucking land. There is not anyone that's going to go and say, oh, we're going to we're going to fire this guy. We're going to prosecute him. We're going to do whatever for rendering aid to a 70 year old, 75 year old white male. You're going to honestly, there's no way you could tell me that there's anything that was going to happen to that guy if he simply pushed off his superior or whoever his fellow officer was and said, no, I'm going to render aid to this old man. There was nothing negative that would have happened to him. The only thing Nothing. that would have probably negative that would have happened to him is his fellow officers probably would have ostracized him. And when he was out there in the streets and needed help because he was getting shot at, they probably wouldn't have shown up because we know how they are. They're a bunch of fucking thugs and gangsters, and that's their mentality. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, it is on full display. This movement that we're trying to keep going is not going to stop. Hold everybody accountable because damn sure we are. The